We were just talking to somebody today about doers versus dreamers. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it was that pushed you to finally start writing it down? Uh, well, I mean, by that time, I'm, I was already hooked. I mean, first short, you know, the weight, that was it. And it, I realized that was the path. I, I don't think from that point on I could write anything and not see it all the way through. So um, now I, I take every project as it comes, but I knew this was one I was going to come back and revisit. It was just about the timing of it. But uh, when I thought about it, it turned out to be the perfect project because... Um, you know, because of my stage of filmmaking where I am, I don't have a huge budget or anything like that. So what I did was I went to the California Film Commission and I, I learned mm -hmm. one valuable thing from them, that they don't charge extra location fees to use California state property. You still have, you know, your usual California state fees. You have to pay certain, you know, permit fees and things like that. But there's no additional charges, which makes those locations a little bit cheaper than others. So I went to the California Film Commission and I scouted my locations for the film before I wrote, before the wrote it. That's what, that's so then I basically went through and said, okay, I want to shoot it here. And I checked all the locations, saw all the locations that I had a, an available access to that was within a budget that I could get. And then I wrote the story. So I think that's enabled me to keep the budget really low. Uh, that's why I think I can shoot it for a $100,000 micro budget. And, uh, and I still think I can produce a high quality image.